So today I thought we'd take a look at pinging test equipment filters. Here's the Brule and Kier Type 1613 Passive Bandpass Octave Filter. I've got cables coming in and out and I'm using a short trigger to ping and excite these. To get it to ring a bit more, I've actually had to feed this back into some channels on the mixer several times to get enough feedback. If this was pinging a standard kind of active Yoro rack filter, I could use the resonance as feedback to increase the amount of ring feedback resonance around that point, that cutoff that I'm pinging. I'll turn down all the feedback and let you hear this in the different bands. And there's quite a heavy click to it. So this is a trigger coming in and back out totally dry at this point. I'll try and edit down the kind of noises between clicking this switch. And let's get some feedback on that lowest setting at 31 and a half hertz. Some really nice bass. Play with feedback as we go back up. And with enough feedback there, just to give it a bit of a ring to it, a bit of a tail to the sound, let's add a kick. Some hats. And there's my patch for today for January, pinging this filter. But just to expand on that, if I mute all of these, here's the sound out into some effects. I'm audio rate modulating a filter that this is going into with two different sources. There's some AM on my VCA, so audio rate amplitude modulation and a little bit of delay. Weird. Kind of quirky sound, but I just wanted to offer something to this pinged. sound, process it differently, and try something else out. So that's pinging passive test equipment filters with the Type 1613. That's it for this January video. See you next time. Cheers.